And this is what we got today. I know my mat looks really dirty, but believe me, it is clean. But all these dyes and stuff do stain my mat. <laughs> they might not stain your tub, but, but they stain my mat with me working on it all the time. So, uh, let me move them. Alright, I guess that's a better view. So if you can see, I am getting ready to dig this out. And we should unearth a skeleton. Which really just equates to me making a mess. <laughs> Can you see him now? I don't want to dig too much because then he'll fall out. But this is how I do it. I kind of bury them in there and, and I could uncover it while they're drying. But I actually prefer to do it after it's all the way dry so that I don't damage my bath bomb. I just don't like touching them before they're dry because they're pretty fragile. <laughs> And what I'm using here is just, where's the camera? Oh my lord. <laughs> there we go. It is just a really thin, I don't even know what it is, but this is my preferred tool. <laughs> I really don't know what this is, come to think of it. Hmm, that was a good question. Caden has decided to join us. See, I am excavating skeletons. What do you think? Cool. <laughs> and I was just showing them what I use to, to, to dig them out. What is this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know either. So we are no help. We don't know nothing. But how to do it. I know how to do it, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Alright, he's good enough. We got one left. Where is he? Where is he? Right there. <laughs> he didn't cover his entire body yet. No, I try not to. It wouldn't be fun if I had to dig up the whole back bomb to find him. <laughs> like, I gotta know uh, approximately where he would be at, right? Maybe. Maybe. How long have you been recording? Oh, five minutes? Took me five minutes to unbury these. Well, I am slow. Alright, now we gotta get Five minutes, that's fast. Do you think so? I don't have a pile. <laughs> Can everybody see that? I got a pile now of um, bath bomb goodness. It smells good though, doesn't it? Yeah. Dragon's blood. 
Don't make your faces at them. They can't see you. Good. <laughs> All right, so you guys, this is the reason why every time you buy a bath bomb from me, it has similar characteristics, but it's never the same because I literally, as you can see, have a blank canvas here to work with and kind of depends what mood I'm in or what I'm doing. I, or if I can even remember what I'm doing. I don't really remember how I painted them last time, so they come out however they come out. <laughs> but, but always similar. That's what matters, right? Is, you could still recognize it as the purgatory bomb. So all I just did, since you can't see, is put some of my alcohol in my green. And I am going to start doing the, the vines. But I feel like this needs more ah, green. So this is what I'm using. Green. Vibrance from Nurture Soap. And I just have these um, little spoons. Which were probably in like a hot cocoa cup. <laughs> but I stole them all and I use them for work because I really like them. So we're just going to put that in there. Stir it up. I kind of like to do one color at a time, plus it does make at least the new batch all kind of look the same. And I just go, go around. with no real strategy of what I'm doing. I guess we'll just do one since we're already in nine minutes. So if you can see that, I've kind of painted some vine-like stuff. I like to take it really close up here to the skeleton, though. I like him to be decorative. I don't know. Oh, well. On with the show. Let's do purple. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to do it. That is a good question. I 
I kind of make blobs. I don't really try to make perfect flowers. It's not really the point. The point is for it to be pretty. My blue got a little too runny. So this is blue vibrant. These are mostly the colors I've been using lately. It's just nurture soap vibrance colors. Let's see if we can fix the blue flower. This, but uh, okay. I don't know if you can see it. I do have some orange here. Let's do orange. an even darker red. I don't know if you can really tell the difference between those two reds. Well, that one really is a blob. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I haven't done this before, but I'm just going to try to put a little yellow dot in the middle of the flowers. Which helps if you're, I don't know if you guys can see how terrible my thing is. This 
saw a place here that didn't have a flower. If I find it again, I can fix it. We can have the yellow flowers. Sorry if it's loud. Anyway, so to sum it up, it's basically a bath bomb with a flower vine pattern painted on it. Normally I go around the skeleton better. Actually, I think she's usually outlined in black. Just to make him stand out. Alright, the last step for the year, since I said I will do one, we may as well do him right. So I get my little bottle of alcohol and shimmer and my gun. And the gun I use is really little and cheap. But it works for me, so I will leave a link to this in the description. And then... We're just gonna spray it. Shimmery and complete. <laughs> but I like spraying them with alcohol when I'm done. Not only does it add the shimmer, but I believe that it makes them a little bit harder. Easier to ship for me anyway. So, there you go. These are the purgatory bath bombs which smell like dragon's blood.